<coughs> so it's March 18th. I'm back at one of my favorite haunts. And, uh, having just missed a really nice fish. <laughs> so they're, they are right where I think they are. Um, this is my second time stepping on the water today. Uh, my first, my first chat didn't go so well. Um, well, well, it depends on, it depends on, I guess, how you want to read that. So I stepped in the water this morning. The flow was uh, 191. The starting temperature was 44.7. And by the time I left there, um, right after I had broken my rod after the first hour of fishing, um, in standing in the very same spot where I knocked the tip off it the first time, um, it had gone up to like 45 and change. And right now it is holding at 46.2. 46.1. Okay. So the water is warming. The air temperature is creeping up on 60 degrees. And, uh, I'm not really sure what that trout took on. I'm gonna try again. You yeah, know, it's a nice day. So, at a flow of 191 and 46 degrees, let's fish. There we go. There we go. That's a nice fish. And I am netless today. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's a nice one. Oh, he's nice. Oh, he's nice. Come on. That's it. What's he on? What's he on? Come on. No, no, no. Oh. No, you're not going over there. Uh-uh. No, you're not. You are not going over the over that weir. Oh, it's nice. It's damn nice. Oh, 
Okay. I don't think he's ready. I don't think he's ready. I feel like I should have my gloves on. I don't know if I have time to put them on. Let's see if I have time to put these on. So I'll be able to hold them a lot better with gloves. And I'll tell you what, I bought these cheap-ass gloves at a fly fishing show. And they actually... They actually work really good on trout. I'm wet. Get the gloves wet. That's better. You know, this happens when I fish without a net. So I get these monsters. Oh, he's just nose down. Come on, Bubba. Come on, Bubba. Do I gotta walk you into the still water? I may have to. Come here. Oh, yeah, you're nice. Come here. Come on. See, I knew breaking my rod first thing today was going to be good luck. I just knew it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He saw me and he got very unhappy. Get out of that current. I gotta get you to some calm water here. Come on, over here. Come over here. Come right over here. Oh, look at you. My hand's getting tired. Oh, he's a big boy. Oh, you've been eating good all winter, haven't you? You've been eating good. It was a nice, mild winter. I bet you you did nothing but dine on scud and sow bug all winter long. Come here, baby. Come here, where are you? wrapped both ways. You got yourself tangled up. No, you didn't. Yeah, you did. Come here. This is where I really wish. Oh, look at that beauty. What's she measure? That's 17. And you are a brute. Don't you get yourself stuck? You're stuck back there. That is a beautiful 17 inch rainbow. Look at that. Very nice. I'm gonna let you I'm gonna hold you for a little bit. Let you recover. That was a good fight. Thank you, my friend. There you go. All right, and you're loose. Whew. Well, ah, that was worth the price of admission of one busted $24 fly rod. Oh, 
Wow. And he was, he took on, he took on, uh, quick shout out. To uh, Joe Akuri, this is Joe's beadhead pheasant tail, which I gotta tell you, the holdover fish, love them, love them, love them. I was trailing a uh, trailing a pregnant one of my pregnant hare's ears. Which is definitely the preference for the fresh stockers. But the holdovers, the nice big fat mama jamas, they like Joe's pheasant tail. And uh, if I post this, I'll uh, probably put Joe's website link in the uh, video so you can ask Joe for his pheasant tail because they just kick butt they really do the rainbows love them um, 